Welcome back to Practice English with Cindy. Today's story is about Sarah's trip to the supermarket. Listen carefully to the story and then let's go over some of the vocabulary and interesting phrases used. Sarah goes grocery shopping. Hi there, I'm Sarah. Today I'm going to the supermarket to top up on some groceries for my home. This is something I do every Saturday morning to make sure that I have everything I need for the coming week. I have to leave my apartment around 10 a.m., but before I go, I need to write down my shopping list to make sure I don't forget anything. Then I'll grab my reusable tote bag to put my groceries in before heading out. I get in my car and drive to the local supermarket about five kilometers away. As I arrive at the store, I take a shopping trolley by the door and walk in. The automatic doors whoosh open and I'm greeted by the familiar sights and sounds of the grocery store. The supermarket is fairly busy with other shoppers going about their business. First, I head straight to the fresh produce section. This section is where you find a variety of fresh fruits, vegetables and herbs. I would like to make salad for dinner later, so I carefully select cherry tomatoes, crispy lettuce and a cucumber. I also pick a bag of nectarines. They are in season at the moment, so they are at a very good price. Next up, it's time to tackle the aisles. I start by shopping for non-perishable foods. Navigating through the maze of shelves, I tick items off my shopping list one by one. Pasta, rice, canned beans, coffee, sugar and more. I make sure to include a few treats for myself too, like a bar of chocolate and a bag of potato chips. I like to have a small snack on Sunday evenings. After that, I head to the deli to get some cheese and ham, visit the bakery for a loaf of bread and finish off at the household department to get some toiletries. With my cart now brimming with groceries, I make my way to the checkout counter. Joining the queue, I patiently wait my turn, casually chatting to the person behind me about the weather. Before I know it, it's my turn to unload my items onto the conveyor belt. The cashier greets me with a warm smile as she scans each item. Beep! Beep, beep, the sound of the scanner goes as my groceries are tallied up. The total cost of my shopping comes to $325. I hand over my credit card to pay, then thank the cashier for her service and head towards the exit. I load my groceries into the boot of my car and head back home to unpack and organize my purchases. I feel happy knowing that I am all stocked up for the next week. That is the end of our story. Now let's move on to the second part where we go over some vocabulary and interesting phrases to check your understanding. <laughs> To add to something in order to bring it up to the level you want. I stopped by the store to top up on milk and bread before heading home. Tote bag. A large open bag with two handles. I carry my groceries home in a reusable tote bag to reduce plastic waste. Fresh produce. Fruits and vegetables 
that are newly harvested and haven't been processed or preserved. The farmer's market is the best place to find fresh produce straight from the farm. Nectarines A type of fruit closely related to peaches with a smooth skin and juicy flesh. She bought a dozen ripe nectarines to make a delicious fruit salad. In season refers to the time of year when fruits or vegetables are naturally abundant and at their peak freshness. Strawberries are in season during the summer months and are perfect for making jam or desserts. Aisles Passages between shelves of goods in a supermarket or other building. These supermarket aisles are very narrow, making it hard to move around when it's busy. Non-perishable Items, typically food, that do not spoil or decay easily and can be stored for a long time without refrigeration. Canned beans and rice are non-perishable items that are essential for stocking in a pantry. Treats. Special or indulgent items, usually food or snacks, that are enjoyed occasionally or as a reward. His favorite treats include chocolate truffles and homemade cookies. Snacks. Small portions of food eaten between regular meals. I packed a variety of healthy snacks like nuts and fruit for my hiking trip. Deli. Short for delicatessen. A section of a store where prepared foods, meats, cheeses and salads are sold. I always order a sandwich from the deli counter for lunch. Toiletries Personal care items such as soap, shampoo, toothpaste and deodorant used for hygiene purposes. I restocked my toiletries buying toothpaste, shampoo and body wash at the supermarket. Checkout counter. The area in a store where customers pay for their purchases before leaving. I waited in line at the checkout counter to pay for my groceries. Conveyor belt. A moving belt that transports items such as groceries from one place to another, often used at checkout counters. I placed my groceries on the conveyor belt to be scanned by the cashier. Cashier A person who handles payments and transactions at a store's checkout counter. The cashier took my credit card for payment after she scanned my groceries. Scanner a device used to read barcodes on products and register their prices in the store's computer system. The cashier passed each item over the scanner to ring up my bill. Tallied up. To calculate or count the total number or amount of something. The cashier tallied up the cost of my groceries and told me the final amount I owed. Boot. A storage space in a car. The boot of my car is very spacious. Congratulations on getting to the end of our lesson today. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more short English lessons. See you in the next lesson.